Embattled Linwood City Councilman Josh Binda apparently hasn't had quite enough criticism because he is now mounting <laughs> a bid for Congress. Let's talk about it in our segment, Unbelievable. <laughs> Oh, great. Now I'm going to be called racist again for suggesting that Josh Binda shouldn't run for Congress because he's going to take to his Instagram at, like he does every time he's criticized and say it's about race. No, it's about you being a complete narcissist and having a level of immaturity that doesn't even suit you to be on the Linwood City Council. So uh, this is from our friends at the Linwood Times. They say, breaking news and battle Linwood Councilman Josh Binda, who claimed under oath in a PDC hearing he doesn't know how to write a check, wants to be your next congressman. Binda will be running as a Democrat against Representative Rick Larson. So a little background on Josh Binda. He's been the subject of recall efforts and he has been accused and there's even been some PDC violations. We'll get to more on that in a moment uh, of using his uh, public office for personal gain. You know, he was doing speeches where he was being paid a lot of money. Like I need to charge more for my speaking engagements to speak to students. And so he definitely has this like business that's built around speaking to kids. Um, and he shot some videos for that at the council chambers as an example, which is completely inappropriate. And speaking of inappropriate, he's over on his Instagram account talking about how he like talks to kids in school and he's posting shirtless, like weird sexually suggestive <laughs> images, which is just strange. Like you're appealing, you're trying to talk about speaking to kids in schools and you're doing some weird shirtless, <sighs> It's a lot. And then as the Linwood Times pointed out, so he gets this PDC violation and he wasn't paying it. And so then he had this meeting with the PDC and his excuse for not paying it is at like, what is he like 22 or something? Uh, it's something like that, that he, he didn't even know how to write a check. Here is the uh, clip from that PDC meeting. Um, well, I have access to, but I'm, I mean, this might sound young, but I've never written a check or done a check before i've never i don't have a checkbook or any of that sorts um so the whole checking process is fairly um new to me yeah which is ridiculous because i don't i don't um doubt that young people <laughs> there's a lot of young people who would have no idea how to write a check if they had not been taught however you do have google uh and Clearly, you're a big internet guy. I think you could have found out pretty quickly how to write a check. You also could have contacted the PDC and said, hey, I need to pay this fine. I don't want to be late. I don't know how to write a check. Can you help me? Or is there another way I could pay? But instead, he just ignored it. And his excuse, I don't know how to write a check. But you want to be a member of Congress? Um, and then I think more seriously than that, but it also probably speaks to why he's running for Congress, is a level of narcissism and uh, and immaturity. And this is something that Democratic State Senator John Lovick actually discussed on this show. So he represents that that area. And he had been supportive of Josh Binda when he wanted to get into politics as a young man, but he simply refused to listen to and John Lovick's been around in political circles in our state for years. He simply refused to listen to any of Senator Lovick's advice. And Senator Lovick said on this show a few months months back that he thought that Josh Binda should resign. What I found is that he was not going to listen. I advised him he should take the lollipop out of his mouth when he's uh, in front of a hearing. I told him he should dress appropriately, dress appropriately. And uh, it was very, very clear to me that he was not going to listen. And I, I, one thing I told him is I said, uh, a line that I used as a state trooper, confidence starts with appearance. I said, people see you, I don't care what you know or don't know. If they see that your appearance is great, if you dress sharp, I said, that just changes uh, sometimes their perspective. And I found that he wasn't listening. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, I'm totally embarrassed uh, with right. the guy. We are too. <laughs> we are too. Uh, but now he can go out there and make his pitch to uh, voters as to why he should represent them in Congress. And I'm sure that he will do it with a lollipop in his mouth. Mm -hmm.